I don't know, I think Fianna Gael and all the, the three, Fianna Gael, Labour, Green Party, Fianna Fáil, I think they're all kind of fucked this year in a sense, but I think they're shitting themselves because there's so many young voters, but then it's really difficult thing to educate yourself about because it's so fucking boring. Uh, young people of today are a bit disillusioned with the whole process. I mean, you know, when Fianna Gael got in, they promised so much, they promised to, to stop paying the banks and things like that, but they continued and they continued to cut arts. I'd be very interested in the repeal the 8th, uh, because I think that's very important for women these days, uh, reproductive rights. I think women should have control over their own bodies and the law shouldn't tell uh, a woman how they should or shouldn't act. To be honest, I, I try to avoid the news as much as possible because I find like at this stage it's kind of just so ridiculous. I actually find it really funny watching the... I can't take them seriously anymore. It's just like watching a comedy movie. You're not actually sure if they're serious or not with some of the things they're saying. I think they. I would want politicians to address uh, kind of like fees for college, like how they're going to keep funding universities. Homelessness, like that's a really big topic. Um, the feckin' bus is dear as well. Like, yeah, I think it went up 10 cent by one. Abortion, um, repeal the 8th, that, that, that should definitely uh, happen. Um, sensible drug policy, I think, is uh, very rational and not like, you know, you can joke about 420 players and stuff, but I think, you know, it has a lot of merit as well. You know, um, more countries are going down that path as well. And it's not a, it's not about like you know if you legalize it everyone's going to be smoking or anything that does, it's not about that at all um, it's almost like the abortion debate in that it's our bodies and we should decide what goes into it and what comes out of it to be honest I think it's in bits uh, don't look at the main political parties they throw all chances uh, much more of a kind of independent voter I don't know top of my list would be like sort of public services transport health uh, education um, drug legalization as well is a big one. It seems to me it doesn't matter which party it's been in in the last 10 years, they've used the same lines, the same arguments, forgotten the arguments and used them again each election. And I think people might be getting tired of that now. I don't know. It's not something I follow. So, like, I still vote because I think that, like, if you don't vote, you can't even really got, kind of got a leg to stand on if you're going to be complaining about politics and stuff like that and how the country is run. It just costs so much. There should definitely be, it should be way cheaper. I'm spending, like, six euro a day on... Uh, public transport. <laughs> Alcohol, yeah. Going up. Price has gone up, yeah. Like, come on, we have to survive some way. Like, yeah, of course, prices of alcohol and cigarettes. Uh, and uh, I think um, the Minister of Drugs has done a really progressive, like a progressive job and he's being very realistic and I think people are responding to what he's doing too and it makes a lot of sense. I think homelessness is something that's been pretty big in the last few years and something that should also continue to be prominent in political discourse. The rest of the world like, thinks we're an absolute embarrassment. Like countries like Romania, like are you taking the piss, have abortion and we don't. And we're just like, like it, we're, we're so proud of ourselves and we're just kind of like blinded by it. But like we're a political embarrassment to other European countries. So like, oh God, how serious am I? Um, it's great, it was great to see the same sex referendum go through. Um, great. And the transgender bill, which was Ireland was one of the first in the world to do. That was great, but I think more steps in that gen direction would be very impressive. I mean, to be honest, like, I mean, I probably know more about the presidency run in the United States and Irish politics, so I don't have much of a view in Irish politics at all. I don't know much about them. All I know is that I get leaflets in the door regularly. And do I read them? I don't, to be honest. Irish water. It's a complete load of crap, the way that was set up. It was so disingenuous. I have no idea, to be honest. I really wouldn't pay much attention to it, so. But from my point of view as a student, I don't think people realise how, how much of an impact it has on us. They're like, oh, I don't need to vote. Uh, well, definitely accommodation. You know, I think that's that's got to be a priority, especially, you know, where we are located, um, you know, with prices and, like, rent prices going up, you know, 20, 30 percent in the city, homelessness on the rise. Like, that's something that needs to be addressed short term, medium term and long term. A lot of our young people think that they want to get involved in Irish politics, but can't really see it as that accessible to them. And I think that's sad because I think the politics can be somewhere where changes can be made to people's individual lives. And I think that it definitely as many people as possible should be involved in politics. For young people, it's just a, it's a joke. I don't know. This is way more difficult than Snapchat. Um, <laughs> sorry. Anything else? 420 Blazer? I don't know. No, like.